In addition to being one of the most famous former presidents of the United States, Barack Obama came from nowhere to accumulate a gigantic fortune today. But have you ever stopped to think about how this tycoon lives? In this video, you'll find out all about the luxurious life of Barack Obama. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications. Check the option all, but you have to do that in less than five seconds. You got it? And if you can, write in the comments, hashtag all about subscribe. All right, let's get started. Career. Born in 1961 in Honolulu, capital of the state of Hawaii, Barack Hussein Obama II is one of the most famous and beloved former presidents of the United States. Coming from a simple background, the young man graduated in political science from Columbia University and in law from Harvard University. With a great desire to change social inequality, Obama has always been involved in community projects, in parallel to his work as a magazine editor and later a professor of constitutional law. His first political position was as an Illinois state senator in 1996. But eventually, he rose to the presidency in 2008, beating Republican candidate John McCain to become the 44th representative of the American people. His term was so successful that he was re-elected in 2012. Among the achievements that most marked Obama's political life are the federal health care law, Obamacare, and his anti-war actions, which earned him a Nobel Peace Prize. After his departure from political life, Barack Obama has worked writing books and memoirs, in addition to having signed a contract with Netflix. With this, it can be said that the former president has achieved great financial returns and can now lead a very comfortable life. Mansion in Washington, D.C. After leaving the White House, Obama and his family moved into a very comfortable house in Washington, D.C the second most expensive house in the neighborhood, losing only to the property of Jeff Bezos. The historic residence from the 1920s has exterior design from that period with brick finishing, while the interior is more modern, updated, and refined. The property has 8,200 square feet of living space, with an impressive total of nine bathrooms, including a half bath, and nine bedrooms to accommodate the Obamas their two daughters, in addition to several extra rooms for potential guests. The home's decoration uses a classic and clean style. In the main kitchen, for example, the custom furniture is white and the countertops are marble, in addition to being fully equipped with stainless steel appliances. But there is another internal support kitchen, as well as an area with a freezer and bar. Just entering the main room, there's a cozy fireplace where Obama can warm himself on the coldest days or receive his friends for a good conversation. The dining room is quite sophisticated, with a wooden ceiling while the walls are white. In the outdoor area, the property has a large backyard with armchairs for the family to enjoy outdoor moments. And after renting this property, Barack Obama decided to buy the house in 2017 for $8.1 million. Country House the former President of the United States, Barack Obama, has achieved great financial success. And because of that, he can invest in great properties to live in peace with his family. Some sources claim that he and his wife Michelle recently acquired a 30-acre waterfront property on the island Martha's Vineyard in the U.S. state of Massachusetts. The house, built in 2001, has 7,000 square feet of living space distributed in seven bedrooms, including an impressive master suite with fireplace and balcony, as well as eight bathrooms. The property features a modern family kitchen and a chef's kitchen, a former circular dining room surrounded by a wall of windows, and a vaulted ceiling living room with a stone fireplace. There are several entertainment spaces, including a lounge with a pool table, terrace overlooking the bay, and relaxing outdoor spa tub. The expensive lawn and incredible water views create the perfect setting for the Obama family to rest. Summer days can be even more refreshing by the pool, a place surrounded by trees, an ideal space to relax. The property also offers a shed for storing kayaks and boats, along with a two-car garage. 
By purchasing this property, the Obama family gains direct access to a lake that mixes fresh and salt water and opens into the ocean. According to Forbes magazine, the former president closed the purchase of this incredible vacation home, which looks more like a paradise retreat, at the end of 2019, paying an impressive $11.7 million. Luxurious Vacations If there's one thing Barack Obama likes to do in his spare time, it's traveling and staying in luxury hotels and homes. On one of his vacations, he visited the island of Titiarora in French Polynesia, where he enjoyed the paradisaical tropical landscapes of this destination. On this occasion, the former president stayed at the Brando Resort, one of the most luxurious eco hotels in the world. The place has extremely comfortable and refined facilities, offering plenty of contact with nature. And to spend a night at this resort, you have to shell out up to $4,000. Obama has also rented a very private mansion, valued at $22.5 million, for the summer, located in a small village in the state of Massachusetts. With 10 acres of land and a house with 2,100 square feet of floor space, the destination offers plenty of comfort for the Obama family. The property has a total of five bathrooms and six bedrooms to accommodate guests as well. It is also possible to enjoy a beautiful infinity pool and even a private gym, a real luxury. And on another occasion, the Obamas rented a very modern and luxurious mansion for a season in the upscale and very exclusive neighborhood of Hollywood Hills in Los Angeles. The mansion boasts a massive 11,800 square feet of floor space, with plenty of room to accommodate many guests, who can occupy the spacious seven bedrooms. The master suite, for example, is quite luxurious, with a balcony overlooking the city and a bathroom with a relaxing bathtub. The property also has an air-conditioned wine cellar, a very modern American kitchen with white or wooden furniture. But there's another kitchen on the second floor to support the rooms, making it easy to get late-night snacks. There are several living rooms on the property, most of which are integrated into the outdoor area, bringing the concept of spaciousness to the environments. Outside, there are armchairs for lounging by the fireplace, as well as a large outdoor pool with attached spa. When it comes to entertainment, the house offers many options, such as a lounge with a pool table and bar space, a spa area with an indoor pool, whirlpool, and dry sauna, a Pilates fitness room with a bed for a relaxing massage, and also has a private movie theater. But without a doubt, the highlight of the residence is an aquarium that houses three sharks, which also has a vertical garden. And although it's not known how much the Obamas paid to rent this mansion, one can imagine that it was not cheap. After all, the property is valued at $23 million. Luxury Yacht After leaving the presidency and working hard giving speeches and selling books, Barack Obama has led a very luxurious life, taking tours on a yacht. He and his wife Michelle rented the vessel belonging to David Geffen called Rising Sun a 450-foot super yacht that has hosted artists such as Oprah, Leonardo DiCaprio, Paul McCartney, among others. The yacht, built in Germany in 2004, has four floors, meaning plenty of room to accommodate passengers. The boat is considered the 11th largest yacht in the world, with an estimated value of $300 million. In other words, renting it for a ride must have cost the Obamas some good money. Cars Many people must ask themselves, what automobiles does Barack Obama have in his garage? The former president, before running for president, was seen driving around in a 2005 Chrysler 300C with a Hemi V8 engine. It's a classic sedan, very popular at that time, mainly for its design and performance, equipped with a 425 horsepower engine. This vehicle can cost approximately $15,000. But the car's later owner unsuccessfully tried to auction it off for $1 million, just because it was a car that Obama once drove. When it comes to extreme rides, the Democrat has been spotted riding in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. With a powerful engine and robust bodywork, this car is ideal for outings on uneven terrain. And to have a car like this, used, you need to invest about $27,000. Another vehicle that once belonged to the former president is a Ford Escape Hybrid, a machine that seems to be very consistent with his environmental values. After all, it's a car that saves a lot on fuel. It is not known how much Barack Obama invested in this car, 
but in its newest version, it costs $30,000. Currently, as a former president, he is not allowed to drive his private car wherever he pleases. For security reasons, it is driven by members of the American Secret Service. While there is no confirmed information on which car Obama usually uses, some sources claim that the Secret Service often offers armored and reinforced Chevrolet Suburbans to members of the government. To give you an idea of the price, this modified car has been ordered for an impressive $3.6 million. Obama definitely doesn't have to worry about cars. Donations That Barack Obama is a guy who cares a lot about social issues, everyone knows. But not everyone knows the real amounts that the former president has donated to charity. He and his wife Michelle own a foundation that raises and distributes money to help people around the world. When Obama was president of the United States, he donated more than $1 million. Money that was distributed to benefit children, war veterans, rescue relief, and the homeless. In addition, the former president donated a good part of the profits from his books, such as scholarships for the children of wounded soldiers, to whom he donated part of the sale of his children's book totaling $392,000. Obama has really done a great job, raising millions of dollars every year. In 2019, for example, his foundation had $143 million in income, money that makes a huge difference in improving inequality. Fortune Barack Obama is now a very rich man, but many wonder where his wealth came from. Having served as President of the United States for eight years, Earning an annual salary of approximately $400,000, he made a total of $3.2 million as head of state. But without a doubt, the income responsible for Obama's enrichment came from his work as a writer. His memoir, Dreams from My Father, for example, published in 1995, achieved significant sales, resulting in a profit of $6.8 million. And according to Forbes magazine, his bestseller, Audacity of Hope, and the children's book, Of Thee I Sing, A Letter to My Daughters, earned Obama $8.8 .8 million. Another more recent book, A Promised Land, was published in November 2020, selling nearly 890,000 copies in the U.S. and Canada within 24 days of its release. Not to mention that he and his wife earned money by giving speeches. Some sources claim that the former first lady earns $225,000 and the former president earns as much as $400,000 per performance. In addition to their millionaire literary empire, the couple earned handsome money in a creative production partnership they signed with Netflix. The $50 million annual deal requires the Obamas to produce a diverse mix of content, including series, documentaries, and feature films. And according to Forbes magazine, between 2005 and 2016, the couple earned an impressive $20.5 million. But with so many projects and sources of income that Barack Obama still has, some articles estimate that his fortune has increased even more, reaching $70 million. Not bad, is it? Hey, did you like the video? So, don't forget to leave your like and comment, and leave some suggestions for other videos, and hopefully we're gonna do it all about channel. Videos to satisfy your curiosity.